Hi everyone, my name is Ray and welcome to my channel. Now, I know you probably heard a few things about the new technology and you want to dive deeper into the details of all the different rumors. Let's just begin with the fact that humanity usually prefers to build something that brings in more money and only after we discover that it ruins our health in so many different ways. Uh, some really, really good examples are genetically modified foods, uh, radiation from magnet trains, cell phones, uh, pollution, bee disappearances, and many, many more. You're probably familiar with some of them, including the hole in the ozone layers. In this video, I'm going to dive deeper into the science behind the new technology and what dangers it might impose on us. I'm going to tell you the truth and the things that I've learned and discovered, and I have to say that it really ain't so pretty. So, stay tuned. <laughs> There are serious concerns about the implications of new technology to the human health, to wildlife, and to the environment itself. In September of 2017, almost two years ago, the European Union had a 5G appeal that was signed by more than 180 scientists and doctors from 35 different nations. They demanded freezing the increase of mobile antennas for the planned 5G expansion and many other things included. Their main concerns were actually the impact that these might have, the antennas, from the higher radiation exposure on neurological impacts, infertility, and cancer for human beings. Here is a quick quote from their appeal. We, the undersigned scientists and doctors, recommend a moratorium on the rollout of the fifth generation 5G for telecommunications until potential hazards for human health and the environment have been fully investigated by scientists independent from the industry. And then, in 2018, an international appeal to stop 5G in space and on Earth had over 26,000 signatures from scientists, doctors, building biologists, engineers, citizens, and many, many more. 5G is actually the next technology of mobile and wireless communication. It will provide speeds up to 100 times more than what we actually have today in the 3 and 4 generation. It will allow more information for things like driverless cars, smart cities, drones, and for faster video streaming like Netflix services. There are even plans in motion to provide 5G from space, meaning thousands of satellites to cover the Earth with wireless radiation. The problem is that in order to provide these speeds, 5G will include the higher millimeter wave frequencies never before used for the internet and communication technology. Now, these frequencies are somewhere in the microwave in the low and really high band frequencies in the high. Microwave, that thing that we actually use to warm our food. And again, microwave. <laughs> so, these higher frequencies don't travel far and are blocked by buildings and different structures. So, High band systems will have to use a dense network of fixed outdoor antennas almost every 300 meters or about 1,000 feet, as well as indoor systems. Now, this type of radiation didn't really have the, the pre-market long-term testing on humans that are continuously exposed to microwave radiation. For example, millimeter wavelength technology was actually used in high intensity in non-lethal crowd control weapons and in military applications. Environmental effects have also been ignored. 5G are, is going to massively increase the microwave and millimeter wave radiation in our environment. And this will probably have a detrimental effect on wildlife and on trees and on Mother Nature itself. Take the bees for example. There is a very serious bee disappearance phenomenon and it's been going on for years. You can read about it everywhere. And scientists are theorizing that it's probably because of the different radiations and exposure to different frequencies. Frequencies like uh, electromagnetic frequencies or radiation frequencies. And these cause the bees to actually lose their way back home. Now, without the protection of the hive, they wander off and they probably die somewhere. And that's why we have disappearance and we have crop issues as well. Some risks from the long exposure to 5G technology also include damage in the eyes, damage to sperm and fertility, severe sweating, skin damage, immune system disruption, metabolic disruption, neurological disruption, 
increased risk of cancers, potential collapse of insect populations, and damage to the plants and trees. Now, there is of course a great conflict of interest between the global community and the large companies that are predicting the new 5G technology is going to bring $7 billion industry annually. Okay, and it's called the Internet of Things, IoT. Now, the industry, of course, is trying to make its message about lack of harm prevail through large investments in the media and by lobbying. Now, I'm not the one that is really happy to be the bringer of bad news or criticism, but I try to be as objective as I can and learn a lot about the subject before I display it to you, my viewers. As both a scientifically and spiritual oriented individual, I try to be as holistic as I can and right now I see no real solution for the issue at hand and I think that the forces that be are pushing this technology no matter what, okay? In other words, we, have not, we don't have a lot of things we can do about it. So, instead of focusing on them screwing us over, again, let's think together about what we can do after all. Uh, I suggest, first, avoid making it worse by using the placebo effect, meaning your belief system. Second, live a healthier lifestyle and allow your body to cleanse itself. In other words, you already know if you're one of my viewers. <laughs> and third, avoid purchasing any new 5D technology that you know hasn't been tested and approved for long-term health issues. The last thing I can suggest is to sign a petition or join the fight in whatever way you can. There are many ways that you can actually do this from the comfort of your home without going out to the street in protest. Now, please don't be pissed. This is, again, just a phase that humanity, we all are, going through right now. We are like a baby learning to walk. We need to be more forgiving and use the power of our mass consciousness and our free will to see positive outcomes even under these type of circumstances when we hear really bad news. <laughs> And together, I believe that our manifestation ability is much greater and then a solution can actually be created without us knowing about it. I love you all and thank you very much uh, for watching and giving me your time. Enjoy this, pass this message along. Namaste and I will see you in my next video.